So I, this is going to be really quick. This is going to be real quick. I have a really big fan that really wanted to see this video. Now, I did not want to cover a chili video. I actually said I'm stepping away from frauditor stuff. Um, chili stuff's cringe. Frauditor stuff has been cringe lately, which will probably get ironed out here probably next year, uh, depending how the election goes, because I'm pretty sure the police are going to get a lot of new protections. Um, you know, that's if it turns red. Anyways, we have this boy, this, uh, this boy that really loves me, that really wanted to hear my voice, that really, really wanted to see my beautiful fat face uh, talk about Chili because I don't know why. I guess he loves me. He's in love with me. Uh, thinks I'm cute. I don't know. But here we go. So this guy right here, Big Boss ST1QP. What's he saying here? Are you going to make a video celebrating the wrongful conviction of Chili de Castro being appealed and overturned? You love justice and law and order, you said. That's what an appeal is. It's correction of the law being executed incorrectly. So be consistent now. Make a video praising the appeal or you are a fraud who had bias. And I did, I, you know, I did my troll thing, so I don't suck dick. Enjoy your chili penis, bitch. Uh, also, chili didn't win. His lawyer, constitutional law scholars don't need lawyers. Then old big bossy boy, he's like, that's a lot of parsley. Parsley, stop, my boy. There's no salt here. No salt here. So here's one of the things. Here's one of the things that happens. Uh, this is consistent. This is consistent whenever you talk about frauditors and some of the shit they up, get up to. In this case, you know, I have talked about chili a lot in the past, right? I, that's how a lot of people found me. Um, and, you know, it is kind of kind of sad walking away from a lot of this stuff. And I've been trying to get away from it for a while. If you guys notice, I've, I, you know, very rarely, hardly ever post anything about Chile anymore. I just think it's cringe. Um, so here's the thing. 20-year law scholars, especially the ones that uh, say they know more about the law than judges, prosecutors, uh, the police, lawyers, and goes around the whole country offering unsolicited illegal law advice to people to say that he can help them with their cases and always mostly fails for the most part all the time. So here's the thing. Chili got put in jail. That's true. Spent four months in, a, in the uh, prison with Roy. He loved that. He enjoyed that. He had his little soapbox every day on his uh, YouTube <laughs> jail time phone calls. Um, here's the thing, man. Here's the thing, it's, it's not a flex when your so-called 20-year law scholar that says he knows more about the law has to get a fucking lawyer to win the appeal. So it's not Chile that won the appeal. It's his fucking lawyer that won the appeal. And here's another thing. You always talk to these people all the time, right? Um, you always bring up the arguments like, hey, you know, Chile is okay with domestic violence. Uh, Chile wants kids to have bone cancer. But when you say these people, they don't want to own up to the fact, but they also want kids to have bone cancer. They also love domestic violence, and they also love to commit crimes because these are real pieces of shit. Pretty much low IQ, bottom of the barrel, degeneracy, bullcrap bitches. They probably use fentanyl. They probably do all kinds of stuff. But for the most part, these guys, they're simps for chili because I guess they think he's a god, which he's not. He's not a god. He's not. He's not smart. Pull the uh, cash app out of your ass and shut up. He didn't win. His lawyer did. Constitutional law scholars don't need lawyers, dumbass. Have fun.